So what we're going to start with is our base color. I'm using Copic Sketch. And that number again was E51 Milky White. And using Copic Markers, it's my favorite tool for drawing. And uh, But what you'll have to notice is when you put down a Copic Marker, that's usually the darkest point is when you put the marker down. When you actually stroke it, it gets lighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the light more on the middle of his face because it's a frontal view. So we're going to start with the edges and move in. What you do want to be careful of is um, these are alcohol markers, so sometimes they will smudge your lines if they're too wet. So be very careful not to, uh, to get too close to those dark lines if you need to overlap them. So do it carefully and make sure that your ink has had time to dry. This is going to be our base color for the skin. And this particular shade is a more yellowish shade, but there are lots of other different Copic markers, hundreds and hundreds of skin tones. So if you wanted to pick a more pinkish tone, feel free to do that as well. What you do want to be careful of is leaving that white around the eye to signify where that actual eyeball is. Going in carefully around the mouth, making sure not to smudge any lines. And you'll notice the kind of grayish tone of the skin right now, but you'll find that as time goes on and the, the marker dries, that it takes on an entirely new, a new color. You'll also find that the marker goes on a lot darker than it dries, so that is something to take note of when you are coloring, especially when you decide to do shadows. And we're pretty much done with the face. We're going to start putting in our base color in for the neck now. And at this point, my, um, my marker is actually starting to run out. So, but thankfully, the copy marker has two sides to every marker. Just glad it started to run out on the neck and not on the face. Because of the way it's running out, I'm just going to do minimal minimal light coloring on the, uh, the neck and shoulders. But on your picture, of course, if your marker isn't running out, you can go ahead and fill that in as much as you want. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take on my next skin tone Topic sketch, and that number again was E21 Baby Skin Pink. And I'm going to come in and put in some more color where I would believe the shadows would be. And your shadows are going to be definitely around the hair and under the chin. Anywhere the light is coming from the front, so you want to take notice of that. Because his bangs aren't very long, you won't need a lot of shading on his forehead, as opposed to like a girl who has longer hair, maybe longer bangs. You'd want to do a lot of that around the forehead, but this where I can remain pretty clear. Some really heavy shading right there where the eyes crinkle is good. Gives it a lot of intensity. Do 
do some shading under his chin. And then this is just go loosely and kind of go with your instinct and fill in that that shadow right there by the nose. And you'll see how the, the base skin tone is starting to level out and dry and looking much nicer than it first did. We're done with that layer. Adding in a couple of places here and then the eyes. And next we're going to go with our last skin tone. This is E33 Sand. And this is going to be my darkest skin tone. So I'm just going to put it in the places where I think would be the darkest, such as like, you know, the inside of the ears, maybe around, you know, the, the deepest parts of the shadows in the hair, little places in the chin and neck. What you don't want to do is go overboard with this. So just a little bit here and there is good. Maybe a line or two around the eyes. If you do end up doing a little more than you wanted, just remember that it's going to dry lighter than you put it down, so don't worry about that. You can already see how much depth that gives him. So we're going to take our blush color, this is um, R20 blush, and give him a little bit of pink around his cheeks and shoulders and ears where the light touches. bit on the nose. You can just see how much more of a healthy and flushed color that is. I'm just going to take my pen right here and, and do a little bit more black on around the eyes. And we pretty much have our skin tones down. So I'm going to take my hair color. This is E59 Walnut. Fill in my eyebrows. Most of the time, the eyebrows and the hair color are the same, except in the condition of sometimes blondes. Or if you want to do your hair color and eyebrow color a different, you know, maybe just for a statement or something. You can go ahead and color in the strands underneath his ears. They'll be all the same color. But then for the rest of the hair, what we're going to do is we're going to find our central middle part point, which is going to be right there, where the lines start to separate. And we're just going to take our marker and draw some streaks. Now, if this were a girl or maybe, you know, a neater boy, we'd be more careful. But because of the messiness of his hair, he's probably a more rum rambunctious character. So we just want to go ahead and just do a lot of lines and kind of no particular direction all going downwards, but don't worry too much about those perfect strands. You can do a couple of crossing lines just to show that, you know, he doesn't care as much about his hair. Go ahead and make that part pretty dark because the light is coming from the front. And keep drawing downwards with those strands. You can see how already it's looking so much better with color. And that's pretty much done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a, after we finish just touching up these little places, we'll take a lighter color and fill in the rest of the strands. And that lighter color is going to be E57 Light Walnut. So those will usually come in a pack, or I think I bought mine separately, but um, you know, those are obviously two really good colors to go together. We'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of the white that we left. If you want to leave a couple of white places, 
that's perfectly fine. That'll just signify the, uh, the light hitting the hair at a more direct angle. And what we're going to do is take that same light walnut color and put it in at the top of the irises. And this is a yellow. This is Y35 maize. And I'm going to kind of create this gold color by mixing in the yellow with the brown. You can see how much depth that gives. Finally, I'm going to take my gel pen, my white gel pen, and put in a shine around the hair. And then I'll do a couple places such as the eyes, where it just needs a little bit more, a little bit more shine. and some on the shoulders and on the cheeks as well. And we are almost done. A few shines here and there. Last thing you want to do is go ahead and sign your name in the corner. And your anime boy is done.